Dahlia Turnbull, and it was actually about a guy who orders a Russian mail order bride online. And uh, for those of you who don't know about this, it's actually a very, very, very popular thing. But I would say that my initial impression of online dating was like speed dating, which I never did. I don't know if you have you done speed dating. No. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> I never did that, but I do remember that I did stand-up comedy at a speed dating event, and it was like doing stand-up at a Star Trek convention, because like everyone is just like the biggest nerds. There's a whole Sears catalog full of women that are just dying to have a husband. That was the worst date I've ever been on, because I like ended up buying the drinks, and like I remember him burping on the date. <laughs> <laughs> That's to show that he yeah. didn't care. Yeah, and I just like, he was not even, he was Try. not even holding it back. He was just like. I remember the one that was always the weirdest. I was on there for maybe probably like a month before I just realized I'm like, oh, okay, this is like a, a swiping with like a porta potty filter. <laughs> was plenty of fish. Have you ever been on plenty of fish? Yes. Oh, that's the grossest one. That's like a porta potty <laughs> bathroom. <laughs> plenty of fish is disgusting. It is. Should be yeah, called plenty of gross. Oh yeah, it is. All the women on there put like a little disclaimer that says they don't like creepers. Like, no creepers. If you're a creeper, please don't contact me. Do you think creepy guys actually listen to that? <laughs> Except creepy guys just on his keyboard, he gets busted. Like, <laughs> With women, I feel like when you go out, the number one thing that you have to worry about, like, is am I gonna get my head cut off? Oh. You know what I mean? With with guys, it's just like, oh, am I gonna have fun? Is this gonna be a great date? And then women are like, well, I hope he's not a serial killer. Oh my gosh. You, you know women think that. They definitely think that. I've heard other women tell me, like, I just wonder if he's gonna cut my head off. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you ever have a cramp thing? Like, did you ever know anybody that had those gigantic life size Oh, cramps? I know what you're talking about now. I didn't have that. Okay. Yeah. But it would have been fun, you know, if I did have that. I always wanted like, one, never got one. Yeah. That was like, that, that's like, a, we should bring that back. That's like the couple's thing. Oh my to gosh, do. I like think a, like, that it would come back. You know? I really do think that it would come back. I think so too. I think the more you can do innocent stuff with your significant other, I think the better it probably helps the relationship, honestly. Because it brings it back to that like time of innocence. Because it's like, nobody is ever going, there's never gonna be a domestic dispute while a couple is like coloring together. <laughs> he like breaks the crayon and throws the bottle of Jack Daniels through the yeah, window. Yeah, that's not happening. And he's like, ah! And then like they have to call the police. Like that's never gonna happen. What advice do you have to men out there for their first date on things they should not do? <laughs> Just tell them what they shouldn't do. Make them more self-conscious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, if you're wearing a t-shirt, that's already risking it, but don't wear- Really? A t-shirt? Okay, I get it. If you're, you're wearing, wearing a fashionable jacket, like if that's... somebody's wearing like a Leonard Skinner shirt, sure, that's weird. It depends on the context, too. Yeah. But if you're going out to eat at like a, you're not really sure it's going to be a nice place or whatever, don't wear a shirt that has an illustration of a tuxedo on it <laughs> because you're not fooling anybody. <laughs> <laughs> but what about someone who looked too presentable? What if he was wearing an actual tuxedo? <laughs> that would be worse than a tuxedo t-shirt, I feel. I really, actually, you know what? I will stand by that. I really will stand by that. <laughs> What, the tuxedo t-shirt would be worse? No, the actual tuxedo will be worse. Yeah. <laughs> don't do anything with tuxedos, okay? <laughs> yeah, tuxedos are weird. Like, I don't even think people wear them anymore. I know, right? Unless yeah. you're like a specific sort of wedding party. Yeah, Penguin from Batman is or the only person who wears tuxedos. if you're not a penguin from Batman, and if you're not a butler, don't wear one. Because <laughs> nobody is ever crushing it in a tux. You're like a butler. You're like cleaning up a rich person's <laughs> shit, you know? But you have like, a t but they dress you up and they try to make you be like, well, you have to look presentable because you're here. <laughs> but they give them like those little coattails at the bottom. They're actually not. So mainly your advice to men is just don't wear a tuxedo. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. Yeah, uh, don't wear tuxedos and um, my advice to women would be, uh, you know, wax your eyebrows. Really? 
I, I, I've, I've literally <laughs> seen, I've literally seen one female not wax her eyebrows in my life, I do. Really? And it stood out to you that it much? It stood out to you. Guys, you have watched another episode of Sketch Talk. Um, a show where I drop a sketch on Mondays and then on Fridays I talk about it. This is Cara Holmes. Uh, where can people find you? Um, you can find me on Instagram. It's Cara Leanne. That's I-T-S-K-A-R-A-L-E-I-G-H-A-N-N. -N. And you can find me here on YouTube. Guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Smash it. Hit it. Boom! All right, bye.